What's up guys? So I didn't want to make a video about the Mass Effect 3 ending anymore. Um, but I've been getting a lot of messages and a lot of comments uh, regarding a few videos that I made bef before uh, a while back. Um, like right after I beat the game. Um, one of them was called My Thoughts on the Mass Effect 3 ending and the other one is the Indoctrination Theory Loopholes, that one. Um, those are the major ones. Those are the ones that I'm getting a lot of comments and a lot of messages on. And that's fine. I don't mind that. But there's a lot of things that you guys are asking me that I find myself, you know, I don't respond to everybody um, in the comments. I would like to, but it's just way too many messages and yeah. Uh, but I thought that I would just make this video to address some things that I've been asked a lot. And I just... I don't want to like ignore the the questions because a lot of them are good questions and a lot of a lot of you uh, really want to know and I'm just like all right maybe I should just make a video instead of trying to respond to everybody so that I can answer some of those questions that you guys have and just make a few things clear. Um, one of them is in my first video the my thoughts on the Mass Effect 3 ending. You got to remember that this video was made um, right after I beat Mass Effect 3, so I was just like. I was like, I was in, I, I've told you guys a few times in the comments, um, I was kind of like in shock. I was in denial pretty much because I was like, it wasn't that bad. Uh, but the more I thought about it, the more I was like, oh my God, that was bad. Like the more I thought about it, I was just like, oh my God, that was so bad. Uh, because I started to see a lot of inconsistencies with the actual um, ending. I mean, not thinking about any theories, just the way that it ended. It's just like, none of it makes sense. It's just like, what the hell? So I, 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 um, I do hate the ending. I don't like the ending. It's just, it's so annoying to me. And it's so, it's just a huge disappointment. So when I say in that video that it's not that bad, it's not that I hate the ending, I do kind of hate the ending. I mean, hate is a strong word. It's not like I freaking despise the ending. I just don't like it. I think the ending is just bad and I don't deny that it was bad writing anymore. I, I was saying it's not bad writing. It kind of is. Um, so I just needed some time to think about it and I, I've done a few videos after that. So if you guys haven't seen those, if you guys just saw the Mass Effect 3 ending video, my first one, um, I've come up with other ones where I have thought more about it. Uh, but no matter what, uh, the ending isn't really going to get any better. <laughs> Not even after the DLC. And I'll explain a little bit why. So yeah, it, I was in denial. It was bad writing. It was rushed. It was pulled from left field, like, out of nowhere. It was extremely overlooked. And I hate the ending. So that should clear some stuff up because I get a bunch of people telling me, um, saying, how could you not hate the ending or blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, I do. I kind of do. Now for the indoctrination theory loopholes. Loophole? A loophole is an inconsistency. And um, a lot of you were like saying, these aren't loopholes. Okay. We could see it as not being loopholes. Uh, I could say they're, um, they're counter arguments. They're just my thoughts. That doesn't really matter. I'm not going to change the title of the name because that's what I chose to name it, but whatever. But a lot of you are like, that's not a loophole. I'm like, all right. Okay. It's a, it's a counter argument. Does that make it better? <laughs> One thing about this is Patrick Weeks, he's a writer on Mass Effect. Um, he was interviewed by a fan. And this is on the BSN, this this interview. Um, it says that it's it's uh, a lot of it is paraphrased. Because um, the the guy didn't write them down, didn't write the the answers down from Patrick of Patrick Weeks, and Patrick Weeks tweeted about this, and he was like, I was made to uh, to look like like I was saying negative things, so it's not that the interview is incorrect. It's just uh, when it pertains to a certain subject, when it, when he talks about James Vega, uh, the guy makes paraphrases something that Patrick Patrick Weeks says making it sound like he's saying that James Vega's dumb. So he says that it's 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 interpreted in a in a in a very negative way, but that's what he's talking about. That whole dumb thing. And cuz he then he says that he doesn't think that James Vega's dumb and that's that, that kind of thing. But everything else is 
uh, what Patrick Weeks says, paraphrased, of course, but um, it doesn't mean that the interview is wrong or made up. It was just that negative um, aspect of him uh, seeming like he thinks James Vega is dumb. So why I bring this up is what Patrick Weeks says in this interview is it kind of bugged me. It, I was just like, he's serious. Like Patrick Weeks says, like when he's talking, when the fan is talking about the ending, Patrick Weeks says something like, like he, he the, the fan asks about the, the destruction of the mass relays and how that affects the fleets and all that. And Patrick Weeks says, um, the fans are, were in, we didn't think this was going to happen. Like the fans were interpreting uh, the endings in ways that we never thought they would. And I'm like, seriously? Like, did you not think that we were going to associate the destruction of the mass relays with Arrival? Did you not think that we were going to be like, what the hell? We're not that stupid. I mean... For, for him to say that, for him to say that he didn't think, that Bioware didn't think, that we were going to think of that. That we were going to think of, oh my god, what happened to the fleets? Or, oh my god, did the, the mass relays must have destroyed the fleets? Or, oh my god, what if, what, what, how are they going to leave? They're stranded. They seriously didn't think we were going to think about that stuff. I was like, what did they, what did they want, what did they think we were going to think? There's a, oh my god. It, it, it just, it blew up. Oh, yay! Oh, look at the colors! Oh my god, it's so pretty! Oh, the fleets are all still there. They didn't die. Seriously? I mean, if that's what they thought, what they, they it's almost like saying you guys are too stupid to think that. You know what I think? I think Bioware was the one that didn't think about that. I think they didn't think about what they were doing. Like... Or at least the people that wrote the damn ending. I didn't think. I think they're the ones that didn't think about it. I was like, oh, this is so awesome, guys. And then when we started to make these questions, they must have been like, oh, crap. Let's pretend like we totally planned this and just say that, um, I know, the mass relays didn't, dis didn't get destroyed. They overloaded. That's what Patrick Weeks is saying. It's paraphrased, but that's what he's saying. That the that the mass relays didn't blow up. They kind of, in a way, overloaded. So, okay. So he's he's pretty much saying, oh no, no, they, they they didn't blow up. The fleets are fine. It just it was like this energy and it overloaded just the mass relays. The fleets didn't it, it was it was it, 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 the the fleets were unharmed. So then, why why was the Normandy blowing up with this whole freaking Crayola colors thing? Is it because the, the Normandy was going through the mass relay in that moment? Maybe that's what they're gonna start claiming. Oh, it's because the Normandy was going through the mass relay. That's why. If I was Patrick Weeks, I wouldn't have even said that. I wouldn't have said that. That he, they didn't think that the fans were going to interpret the endings the way that we did. Like, have all these questions. Did they seriously think that their ending was perfect? I mean, yeah, they left it open so that we could suspect things. But they, they never thought that we were going to start questioning these things. Like, wait, what happened here? That just shows how much dedication we have to the series that, than, than Bioware actually has. Because... I mean, look at the theories that the fans have come up with. The, fa the indoctrination theory. All the other theories that are out there, they're more in-depth. They're more dedicated than what Bioware thought of. If Bioware didn't even think that we were going to interpret the endings the way that we did, that we were going to question about the mass relays and the fleets, if they didn't even think we were going to think about that, then do you really think that they have this master plan that they come, came up with, uh, the, indoctrina the, the indoctrination theory, I, I really don't think that they were able to come up with that. Because that is way too clever, the indoctrination theory. The fans thought of that, and the, and the indoctrin... A lot of you think that the indoctrination... That I don't like the indoctrination theory. It's not that. Trust me, there's nobody out there that would prefer the ending to be the indoctrination theory than me. You know why? Because 
I stated that I would that I was seeing the ending of Mass Effect 3 way back then, like back in September 2011, that that it was going to end that way, that that Shepard was going to come down to be indoctrinated, that Anderson and Shepard were going to be there and there was going to be this internal struggle with Shepard. In Mass Effect 3, I don't know why I have this 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 picture in my head and I would just love to see it. If it doesn't happen, whatever, but I just think it would play out very well. Something is going to happen to Shepard. And by something, I mean that he's either, he's going to be he's going to be fighting something within himself. And in writing that's called man versus self. Whether it's because of the reapers, some kind of indoctrinate in some kind of indoctrination thing, I don't know. Maybe I think it's going to be something like that where Shepard is internally fighting this indoctrination like he can't let it happen and maybe throughout the game he's going to be fighting it and fighting it so that because if he doesn't if he just becomes indoctrinated he's not i don't think he's going to become become indoctrinated fully because you can't be playing an indoctrinated shepherd and then what go kill everyone no that, they wouldn't do that so you're going to be playing a shepherd that is trying to hold like trying to find himself trying to, to defeat this thing inside him. And I think Anderson could play that role of trying to help Shepard get through this. Um, and there's either, I could see it happening, a lot of times that mentor position is used for a reason. They're used to help the hero at the end. And I could totally see that Shepard at the end of Mass Effect 3, he, he has no choice anymore. Like, he can't fight this any longer. He, it's just, that's it. So trust me, if it comes down to be, which is not, if it comes down to be the, the, the indoctrination theory, I'd be super happy because I'd be like, oh, hell yeah, that's exactly what I said. But you know why I'm, I'm like constantly saying it's not it, guys? is because it just doesn't fit with what Bioware is saying, with what Patrick Weeks just said. He's, he's, he's trying to, to make sense of the mass relay destruction when the indoctrination theory is like, it doesn't even incorporate the mass relays because it never happened. If, if it never happened, if the mass relay destruction and all that didn't happen, which is what the indoctrination theory states, that none of that happened, um, why would Patrick Weeks be saying, oh, no, no, they didn't, they overloaded? If it didn't happen. If it didn't happen, Patrick's, Patrick Weeks would say, oh, no, don't worry, guys, we have something in store for you guys, or something like that. Or don't worry about the mass relays, uh, something like that. But no, they're trying, to they're trying to explain the actual ending. So that means that in the DLC, in the extended cut DLC, they're, they're, that's all there. It's not like, oh, it didn't happen. Booyah. No, it's, it's not. It's all still there. And I think the biggest appeal for the indoctrination theory, well, one of them is that it's freaking brilliant. But the other one is that it wipes the freaking ending clear. Like it says, just kidding, guys. That was freaking crazy. It didn't happen. Look, it's, it's even better than that. Now, now, just erase that. It didn't happen. Bioware really should do that because not, not only because it's good, but also because it would freaking redeem them. It would redeem them because they would be able to just get rid of that stupid ending and say, okay, that didn't happen. That didn't work. Like, that didn't freaking work. And I'm all about respecting um, artistic integrity and what they decided to do. I'm all about that. I respect that. I don't agree with it, with what they decided to do with the ending. Like, I don't agree. With